Hey guys, this crypto Marie, she does it all, a little bit of everything. I have a question to you guys, and please, I don't care if you try to assault me, telling me that's not my business, stay out of it. But I think it is time for me to speak my mind on this relationship. When it comes to Lhasa, Lawa or Lhasa peeping ex-wife, dating marcus jordan which is michael jordan's son i think it's just um it's wrong in every level because i think she's a crowd chaser she's looking for attention i don't care what kind of body how fine your body is because there's a lot of work going into behind the scene and uh, you could show off your body, but don't show the rancor in your face or in your hand. And there was nothing wrong with being, get, you know, old or getting older. I mean, I'm getting there myself. I'm not criticizing the woman. But at the same time, when do you know you go a little bit too far? You know, when do you know that? And the young man supposed to be with somebody to live his life create a family and and but to be with laosa or lala whatever hell her name is it's just a waste of time in my opinion and a lack of respect for peeping and michael jordan himself and they using the jordan name as an excuse to bring it out there to be to bring more fame to the story you know like i wanted to say something for so long but then I'm like, okay, let me see. I need, I need to learn more about this woman. I need to learn more. What is she looking for? What she wants? Is she, is there really love in there? Or is it just a, a, a fame hall, you know, where people just add there and want to see themselves on the news all the time. So let's go with the story. And at the end, I'll tell you more or less what he gift her. And, um, it's crazy to me. It's crazy. Really. I have three sons and, um, from 22 18 and 14 and of course they can choose the woman they want to be with but come on live your life you know have some fun with kids your own age you know later on in your 40s and your 50s you choose to be with a 70 80 year old i don't care but right now you need to have some kind of experience have some freedom okay that's just my opinion and you can come after me i really don't care right now i'm tired i'm sleepy i'm just giving you straightforward how i feel about this relationship I think she's using the young men for fame. Okay. Marcus Jordan, son of basketball legend Michael Jordan, recently gifted his girlfriend, Lausa Pippen, a couple of Jordans, adding more fuels to the fire of their relationship. The Jordan brand line of sneakers established by Michael Jordan in 1984 has become a cultural phenomenon with uh, people of all ages and backgrounds seeking to own a pair <laughs> one of my son is a big fan uh, i remember back then before covid he used to go sleep and um outside a foot locker to get a pair of the latest of jordan it did not matter how much it cost he will go for it marcus who is also the founder of the trophy room has access to rare and exclusive air jordan in other Nike's sneakers are uh, making it easy for him to give Lhasa a special pair. On his Instagram story, Marcus shared a picture of Air Jordan 4s and uh, coveted Travis Scott lows with the caption, Gotta keep my baby laced up. <sighs> the couple has been very public about their relationship on social media sharing pictures of themselves together and expressing their love for each other the controversial moments and open all wounds between Pippin and jordan i can imagine that you know you don't do that michael jordan and scotty Pippin, two basketball legends who won six championships together for the chicago bulls have an ongoing feud that allegedly began over scotty's betrayal portrayal and uh, popular Darky series, The Last Dance. But another thing they said, even though they were playing together, they never really had a conversation or something. I don't think they were that close, that friend. 
like the friendship wasn't there the couple was first seen together on a supposed date last year and it was later confirmed that they were indeed an item since then they've been expressing their love for each other on social media platforms and even spent valentine's days together <laughs> this lady is a uh, uh, attention seeker uh she's just like the kardashians they will do anything for fame this young man is uh young and have his whole life ahead of him he needs to date somebody in his age range to have kids to populate the earth not to be with this old lady with all the respect i just don't like her i think she's just in it for fame and uh, i don't like that seriously i don't like that i i believe if she doesn't have kids uh mark his age at least close like in their 20s and to have people used to play with michael jordan now his son his seed that he brought to this planet to this earth is banging your wife that you used to bang night and day it just don't make no damn sense and i hope this break up i hope the thing go i hope it's just a uh, temporary you know she's having fun i hope this is, and, and and these days whatever people do it's on the nose it's on social media i don't care if you give her the best jordan shoes when he he had a fever or call he won championship he won the game i don't care that's i don't care why do we have to know that you give it to her you know to me it's for fame it's for clouds whatever people do these days it's not behind the scene it's not behind the door anymore you have to know about it social media have to know about it. that's why i know it's not real when something is significant that when something is special to somebody you care for you should not have to publish it in social media you should not have to let people know why you're doing it when you did it how you did it to me it's a fame attention seeker and uh, she get what she's looking for it seems that she controlled the relationship because marcus jordan is a young man and um ah i don't think uh larsa isn't it for for him you know and i think it's like a revenge type thing you know yeah people i'm banging your ex basketball mate son how do you feel i think it's a way of hurting the man to his core you know hurt the man to his core yeah you know, why would you do this to somebody you supposedly used to love and have kids with have kids with some women have no decency seriously some women make a lot of women look bad because they don't have what it's called a heart decency you know so many other guys that are there you know it's not even about the age group anymore at this point why you had to choose him michael jordan sons you know why why you want to hurt people to his core and you have done your part i see lots of people and i believe she's friend with the kardashians they do stuff to hurt men and when they hurt men they hurt men to their core you know like i'm i'm, I'm gonna hurt you so bad like it's gonna hurt it's gonna bleed it's you're gonna feel that one and she has done it and i hope people move on i hope people is good i love his nose he had this strong nose <laughs> i love people's nose people um, i'm praying for you my brother i know you divorced with that fool but um she's in it for the fame you know she want to keep it going keep it moving because it's michael jordan's sons i think that give it more more publicity more more something to talk about so hopefully this thing split you know split as soon as i can even remember it cuz i don't think it's right this woman don't have any business being with this young man and uh people will do anything for fame and i hate it subscribe let me know how you feel bye